guys. Welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today we're going to talk about the royal family because that has consumed our lives and we loved every minute of it. We love reporting on everyone on the <laughs> other side of the pond. But today we found a very interesting, I guess an article um, from BuzzFeed, given <laughs> everything that's going on. But... <laughs> With all these health ailments that are going on with the royal family, this article's title is The Five Times the Royal Family Seemingly Hid Their Illnesses from the Public. So this is not the first time that it's happened. Don, don, dong. <laughs> okay. So this article is by Alexa Lisitsa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, the title is, I am so, so, so fascinated by these five times when the royal family seemingly hid their health. The public was told King George VI had his lung removed due to structural abnormalities. By now, you've likely seen the widespread speculation about the whereabouts of Kate Middleton, whom Kensington Palace says is currently recovering from a planned abdominal surgery performed earlier this year. Due to the surgery, the Princess of Wales was largely gone, or has largely gone, unseen since December 2023, which led to conspiracy theories over whether the palace was sharing the whole truth of her condition. We know that last week, the princess was spotted in a car, or two weeks ago, was spotted in a car, and she presumably shared a photo of herself and her children on Mother's Day, which was discovered to have been edited and by results spawned more conspiracies. While everyone deserves to recover in peace, and let me be clear, that is what I personally believe Kate Middleton is doing, curiosity feels only natural when you consider how the royal family has distracted from health concerns in the past, like these leading members. Number one, King George VI. In 1951, King George VI had, left, had his left lung completely removed. At the time, the public was told the procedure was performed due to structural abnormalities. In reality, though, the king had cancer likely caused by his heavy smoking. The true diagnosis was originally kept secret from the public, and some speculate that it was also withheld from the king himself. Cancer was not mentioned in his death announcement time reports. And that, of course, was Queen Elizabeth's father. Number two, Prince William. Prince William, hold on. You may remember that in early 2020, it was announced that King Charles had COVID. What you likely did not know, however, is that Prince William was diagnosed with COVID around the same time. Yep, the prince had COVID in April of 2022, 2020, but chose to keep it quiet and isolate within the palace. The story was originally broken by the son, and they spoke to an anonymous, anonymous source who was quoted, William was hit pretty hard by the virus and really knocked him for six. At one stage, he was struggling to breathe, so obviously everyone around him was pretty panicked. According to Fanny Fair, a source said William didn't want it getting out because he didn't want to worry the nation. That makes sense. Number three, Princess Margaret. Whether you can say Princess Margaret's mental health struggles were deliberately hidden or not taken seriously in the era she in the era she dealt with them is up for debate. Regardless, the princess has been compared to Prince Harry, both of whom lost a parent early in life were publicly shamed for falling in love with their person of choice, drank excessively, and struggled with depression. According to biographer Andrew Morton, Princess Margaret's mental health struggles were purportedly brushed past the Queen, um, passed by Queen Elizabeth II on an occasion when the princess threatened to jump out of a window at a party, and the host called the Queen for help. According to Morton, Queen Elizabeth reportedly replied, carry on with your house party. Her bedroom is on the ground floor. When speaking about health in the royal family, Morton wrote, they lived in a world where illness was dealt with by going for a long walk and mental illness was ignored altogether. Ooh. Number mm. four, Queen Elizabeth. In October of 2021, Queen Elizabeth canceled a planned trip to Northern Ireland and a spokesperson said she was advised to rest by physicians. Reportedly, Buckingham Palace continued flying the royal standard, a.k.a. The flag meant to signify when the monarch currently in, was currently in the residence. However, it was later revealed that Queen Elizabeth was not home. In fact, she was spending the night in a hospital. Number five, King Charles III. Unlike his predecessors, King Charles III has been refreshingly honest when it comes to keeping the public informed about his health. In February, Buckingham Palace announced the king had been diagnosed with cancer. This announcement stopped short there, though. 
and the palace failed to provide details like what kind of cancer the king has or its stage. So, whew, these are very interesting, and I was definitely surprised by the Prince William COVID thing, but it makes some sense to me. I'll get to that in a second. What did you think? Man, well, there's just been a long history of secrecy, it seems, or not sharing with the public. You know, I saw something, I think on Instagram, or this this specific quote, and it's talking about Princess Catherine, and all, you know, her abdominal surgery and healing. So there's been this big debate, you know, well, you know, they're publicly funded, and we should know everything about them. And then, you know, there was a comment that said, yeah, they're publicly funded, but they're not publicly owned. Like, they're still people. <laughs> right. So, yeah. It's like, you know, that, I think that was probably one of my arguments with you in one of our videos. I'm like, well, she doesn't have to say it. It's it's her privacy, you know. Right. Um, but I do understand transparency as well. You know, if you're looking up to them uh, for, you know, I don't want to say guidance, but, you know, if it's a tradition of yours and this is important, you know, you want to know what's going on with the monarchs. Um, but there seems to be a pattern of secrecy. Um, and I don't think that's going to change. Like the article mentioned, King yeah. Charles has been very forthcoming with everything that's going on with him. Um, you know, we knew about his uh, prostate. What was it? The enlarged his prostate. prostate. The enlarged prostate. Uh, he told us that he was diagnosed with cancer, even though we don't know what kind. But hey, we know stuff. Yeah. Princess Catherine, abdominal surgery was just thrown out there at us. And we haven't seen her since December, which is causing this whole commotion on social media. Everyone yeah. is losing their minds. There's all these conspiracy theories, um, which I think they'll eventually debunk next, next month in April. Yeah. So um, if that's any indication of what a monarchy under Prince William is, it's going to be one of hush hush. Don't say nothing. We'll let you guys know when we're ready to tell you. Don't expect it any sooner. <laughs> Which makes yeah. me sad because, you know, I want to know right now. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> um, well, I, I, I can understand the, so in particular, Prince William, which I said was like completely shocking to me right now. Um, mm -hmm. I can understand him not saying anything if Charles also had it around the same time because they are the line of succession, right? Like they are number one, number two at that time, they were number one, number two in the line of succession. So imagine the sort of upheaval that could have caused um, thinking that anything could possibly happen to either one of them, especially with Prince George being the next one in line after William and Prince George is still a boy. So, so I can understand kind of withholding some of that. Um, but as far as, the other things I've I've read in the past that for the royal family, because they're supposed to be closest to God, they're supposed to be above everything, above everyone, right? So therefore they don't want to discuss illnesses because that brings them down to earth, right? Like that makes them human. Um and and so I think that's kind of like the reason why there's been so much in a way backlash to everything that's been going on in the last couple of months, I think it's because of that, because they so readily keep things from the public, but then share tidbits here and there, hoping to keep everybody at bay. And for the yeah. most part, it's worked until now, because now this has hit mainstream media from like all over the world, right? It's not just us. It's not just the Royal watchers, Royal commentators, Royal anything, because I guess you could say we're royal watchers from like back in the day when we used to like be obsessed with Diana. But but at a certain point, things can break through. Like the scandal that happened when Harry and Meghan left, right? That broke through to the entire world. Now this Kate situation, that's broken through. And and so I think I said it in one of our previous videos. I don't think there's any going back. Um, I know they're gonna try, but the internet has a long memory and <laughs> they're not going to forget. They may move on because short attention span problem, but they're never yeah. going to forget. 
look at what's happening to JLo right now. People don't forget. So mm-hmm. it's kind of why I feel like the more you hide, the more people are going to want to know. But they've been able to get away with it for so long because a lot of the time these things haven't broken through to the rest of the world, like the situation with Kate has. It's crazy. Well, you know, um, Queen Elizabeth, I don't remember which video we were talking about. Uh, but she did mention that, you know, they can't be that relatable because then they lose the allure. So I can also see that point of view. I'm right. like, it, well, if I know the ins and outs of the monarchy and what they do and what's going on, then it's we're going to have the same feelings that we have about, you know, celebrities here in America. It's like, yeah. well, you know, I know that, I don't know. Britney Spears is located here. And I know that Kim Kardashian's favorite drink is, you know, a uh, caramel macchiato. And I know <laughs> Brad Pitt hangs around here. You know, you just lose that, you know, let's say like that old Hollywood glamour, which would be kind of similar to, to the mom. You just lose that, you know, enthusiasm yeah. of getting to know more things about them, you know, maybe even like reverence yeah. towards them. Because they're so relatable. They're just like you and me. Oh, you get sick too? Well, you know, that's kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, this happened to you? Really? Me too. I <laughs> fell and I have a and I have a scrape <laughs> on my right knee, just like you. Like that's you know, that's kind of weird. So I can it's it's a fine line that they have to juggle. Yeah. It's just letting us know enough to keep us at bay, like you said. But, yeah. you know, with this um, situation with Princess Catherine, I don't know how they, they're they going to recover from it because, you know, they have that kill notice on that picture. Yeah. Um, which, you know, deemed them an unreliable source. I'm like, that's extreme. But OK, right. yeah. I'm like, there's so many people photoshopping. I mean, every picture on Instagram. But exactly. We're gonna, you know target this one okay whatever um <laughs> now you know they're scrutinizing every picture the brick doesn't match this brick and you know nice. was she there and let's you know map out the coordinates i think you know mm-hmm. i don't know what they're going to do to restore that uh that faith but i think it's going to be a little difficult and like you mentioned uh the internet never forgets They'll move on, but they don't forget. Well, one of the, I guess, tests that we'll see as far as photos and the fact that there's a kill notice and, oh, they're not reliable. Well, mm-hmm. One of the biggest things that, um, at the very least, Kate and, and William do are release photos of the family, release photos of the kids during their birthdays. And I believe April 23rd is Prince Louis' birthday. So they're going to release an official portrait there. Like, how are they going to, are they going to take it? Because normally the photos are taken by Kate Middleton. But, but yeah, I agree. I don't really see, I don't really see how they could kind of like bounce back from all that. It's going to be interesting. An interesting spring. Well, hopefully Princess Catherine comes back with a vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, guys, relax. And I'll be like, okay. I forgot yeah. about it for now. <laughs> <laughs> guys, that concludes today's video. Let us know in the comments what you think. Did you know these fun facts? What do you think um, is going to happen under Prince William's monarchy? Do you think there's going to be more secrecy, less secrecy? Will he be a little more transparent given what's happened with all this uh, Kate Spiracy? of it all, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, but that concludes today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our video. We're trying to grow our community so your friends can be our friends and so we can all be friends. We also have social media, which Steele tell you about. We're on TikTok and Instagram at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys like, follow, share, and comment. We also have um, the videos in podcast format that you can listen through uh, YouTube and Spotify. So make sure you guys check us out there. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.